What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. We got to talk about that Zion Williamson 360 windmill dunk to finish the game against the Phoenix Suns last night. That dunk was absolutely exceptional. And honestly, I'm not even mad that he did it. It was so deserved. I loved it. Okay, we're going to get into why. Before I do, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you enjoy this kind of content, please like the video. But really, who cares? Like, I see a lot of Suns fans, a lot of NBA fans are like, oh, they should have just dribbled out the clock. That was, they were just trying to run up the score, showboat, whatever you want to call it. Have you tried crying about it? That would probably be a pretty good option because honestly, Chris Paul tried to score right before that. So if you didn't want him to score, you should have just dribbled the clock out. So can't have it both ways. The dunk was nasty. He's on his home court. This is a team, this is, this is a little bit of a rivalry. This is the Sun, like this, what Zion said. This is the Suns team who sent his team home last year when he wasn't playing. He's here now. This is not the same team that they sent home. And it's just, I loved it. It was for the theatrics. The fans loved it. And who doesn't want to see a 360 windmill dunk? Like you're not a real basketball fan if you don't want to see that. I don't care if there's two seconds on the clock or two minutes on the clock. The dunk is exceptional. And if you don't want him to do that, maybe don't let him have a wide open run to the rim and let him do whatever he wants to do. Maybe foul him before that. Maybe actually get back on defense instead of just quitting and then getting mad when he does something that you could have prevented. The whole thing to me is just so stupid that people are getting mad at it. If you want to see entertaining, electrifying plays, Zion's the guy to do it. I've made a couple videos on him very, very recently. I love the, the trajectory that him and the Pelicans are on. And, you know, it's like I said, if you don't want him to do that, stop him. Or maybe don't try and score when you're already down by seven or eight points and the game is over. I don't know. Maybe you should try that. The people that are getting mad at it, just I just wish that they would stop watching basketball. This whole unwritten rule stuff is so stupid. Just play till the final second, till the till the buzzer hits. Play till then. I don't. If if you get scored on, you get scored on. But to get mad when you didn't even get back on defense to try and stop it, that's stupid. Stupid to me. I don't understand the rationale. The I don't understand the rationale of why people think that like that's disrespectful. The clock is ticking. Anything can happen. And he wanted to put on a show for his home fans that, you know, in a, against the team that sent his team home. I am all for it. Zion said, you know, it's out of character for him. But honestly, you, you didn't have to apologize for it at all, in my opinion. This is basketball. This is hoops. That was a crazy, crazy electrifying dunk. And I just loved the whole thing. And, you know, the Suns, they, the little scuffle after the fact, dumb, dumb. If you'd have had that much intensity, and heart before that, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't have lost the game. They got outplayed. They got beat by a team that is playing better and really figuring it out. And I'm not trying to trash the Suns or their fans or any of their players, but to be mad at Zion for doing a 360 windmill dunk, I don't really know. Like you're, that just doesn't make any sense. Do you think the the windmill dunk was, you know, unnecessary? Was it disrespectful? Did it break unwritten rules? Uh, if you do think that, that's fine. I respect your opinion. I personally do not think so. Do you think? It was warranted. Do you think he should have done it? Or would you have done the same thing? Zion said, if the Suns were to do the same thing, he's not going to get mad at it. And honestly, I, I'm completely on that side. Because, you know, if you can dish it out, you better be able to take it. Suns tried to score. They said, okay, we're going to try and score too, if that's what we're doing here. Because, you know, in most other games, when a team is losing by seven, eight points with five seconds left, they're just going to dribble the clock out. The game's over. But one team chose not to do that. And then as a result, they didn't score. And Zion put on one of the best dunks of the season. Just the the juice that he had from it. The crowd loved it. I loved the whole thing. It was spectacular. They play again tomorrow on Sunday. I can't wait for that game. That is probably going to be some fireworks. It's still in New Orleans. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very intense atmosphere. So I'm really excited for that game. But I think the dunk was warranted. I think it was cool. It's basketball. It's supposed to be fun. So stupid unwritten rule. I don't care. Great dunk. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Please like the video, but just give, give give Zion some love. That was a crazy awesome dunk. I don't care what time is on the clock. It's still a spectacle. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'm done here. Peace.